It's estimated that iodine deficiency affects 30% of the population worldwide. Deficiency can affect the production of growth hormones, which in turn can go on to cause serious health problems. Hi and welcome to 3 Minute Health. Today we have a list of the 10 most common symptoms that can occur from a lack of adequate iodine. Although iodine can be found in a wide variety of foods, many people still suffer with deficiency. The recommended dietary allowance for iodine is 150 micrograms in adults, going up to 220 during pregnancy, and for breastfeeding mothers. Our list is in no particular order, and during the course of this video, at various times, we will display a key number in the top right-hand corner, this will relate to a piece of scientific research that we have linked in the description. Number 10, Fatigue. Fatigue and tiredness are some of the most common symptoms of iodine deficiency. In several studies, it was found that nearly 80% of people, with low levels of thyroid hormones, caused by a lack of iodine, suffered more with tiredness and fatigue. Number 9, Hair Loss. Thyroid hormones play a major role in the regeneration of hair follicles. A study of 700 people found that the ones with low levels of thyroid hormones suffered with hair loss. Number 8, Feeling the Cold. A lack of iodine can affect how fast your metabolism works, a slow metabolism means we don't produce enough internal heat. A study found that up to 80% of people diagnosed with low levels of thyroid hormones would be more sensitive to the cold. Number 7, Slow Heart Rate. Low levels of iodine can cause your heart to beat slower. In extreme cases, the heart rate can drop so low that it can affect the carriage of oxygen around the body, causing dizziness, tiredness, and even fainting. Number 6, Dry and Flaky Skin. As many as 77% of people suffering with low thyroid hormones caused by iodine deficiency have been found to have dry and flaky skin. A lack of iodine can affect the production of new skin cells. Number 5, Unexpected Weight Gain. Having low thyroid activity due to iodine deficiency can cause your metabolism to slow down, which in turn means you burn less calories. Several studies have found a direct link between weight gain and low iodine levels. Number 4, a difficult pregnancy. Getting enough iodine during pregnancy is important for both mother and child. Expectant mothers have to consume enough for themselves and their developing child. In the mother a lack of iodine can cause weakness, fatigue, feeling cold and even developing a goiter. In the unborn child, it can be a cause of stunted physical and mental development. Number 3, heavy or irregular periods. Low levels of thyroid hormones have been linked to more frequent menstrual cycles, sometimes with heavy bleeding. In a study of women with low thyroid hormone levels, 68% of them suffered with irregular periods, as opposed to 12% of women with normal levels. Number 2, Poor Brain Function. Low thyroid hormones, caused by a lack of iodine, can impact the ability to learn and store information. A study of 1,000 adults found that the ones with healthy thyroid hormone levels performed better on memory tests than those who had lower levels. Prolonged iodine deficiency in children can affect the development of the hippocampus, the part of the brain involved with long-term memory. And at number one we have, neck swelling. Neck swelling is usually an early sign that you may not be getting enough iodine. The thyroid gland is positioned in the neck, it uses iodine to produce thyroid hormones. When we don't get enough iodine, our thyroid gland works harder to try and produce enough of the hormone. This overactivity can cause the gland to swell and appear as a goiter. This can be remedied by the addition of adequate levels of iodine, but if it is left too long, it can cause permanent damage to the thyroid gland. You can treat iodine deficiency yourself by adapting your diet, we have included a link to a free PDF in the description that has the iodine content for most foods. The symptoms of iodine deficiency are not exclusive, so if they persist after changing your diet, please consult your doctor, you may be experiencing symptoms of something else. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all our latest content.